Hey y'all, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another thrift store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you all came from Finders Keepers Consignment Shop, which we have in, here in town, and one thrift store that I don't really go to a lot because they just either don't have anything I'm interested in, or if they have something that's really cool, they tend to price it up. So everything that we're going to be looking at today, I bought on the day that I got my second COVID shot. I did experience a day of exhaustion, a little bit of body aches, a little bit of a headache the day after. And that didn't kick in until about an hour or two after I arrived home. But I'm feeling much better and I'm happy to have had that vaccine to establish some kind of normalcy. So the first item we're going to be looking at, or the first items I should say we're going to be looking at, came from Finders Keepers. And I spent a total of $62.54, and that's with tax. What's really funny about these first four items, these are Blanco like clear ice cube looking candlesticks. They were on their clearance rack for $23. What's so funny is I think the day before, or the night before, I was watching one of Jocelyn's videos and she was talking about these and I think she was at a thrift store. And she was saying that these can sometimes be Blanco and lo and behold, I go to a Finder's Keepers and I find four of them with one of the Blanco stickers on it. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is if I should sell all four of them together or if I should do, like, sets of two. Because I know they're all Blanco because they all look exactly the same. Now, I'm still not able to really look things up in this store. So what I did is I took a chance on them for $23. And I think I came out of the store and I looked them up in my on my phone when I was in the car. And a set of these larger ones sold for about $40. Just a set of two. So I'm thinking maybe, because they are heavy, I should probably just do $40 for one set, and then I can always relist another set. And that'll basically pay for everything that I picked up. They did have a small section of Easter items in their clearance area in the back of the store, and I was pleasantly surprised to see this 1961 Napco bunny painting an eggplanter that I picked up at Hanover a while ago. And that was, how much were you? It was $6, so about $4 more than I paid for the one that I got at the antique store. But I will definitely be saving this for next Easter because I think this will do really well at Alive. Now, as you notice, the little, like, scalloped gold paint has come off. But I think if you wanted to, you could clean this off with something and just keep the larger striped colors on the egg. There's no cracks, no chips. Their Napco sticker is on the bottom. The lettering is a little smudged on the bottom. And I don't want to take that foil sticker off. But it is in really good condition and it would look great in Easter vignettes. So I'm really excited to have found another one of these because I really like mine. I just didn't want to sell it. If you all remember a while back, I did pick up another one of these plaques that had a tuna fish on it in the ocean. And I found the leopard one and I was like, ooh, that's really, really cool. I've never seen that one before. And I remember I was showing my mom the stuff that I got when she got off of work because she works from home now. And I think I was packing everything up to bring it upstairs. And I remember hitting something on the countertop and I didn't know exactly what it was and I thought I heard something break, but I wasn't sure what it was exactly. And come to find out, I did this to it. But it doesn't affect the, the cheetah or the leopard itself, so I still think it might do pretty well. Um, you know, I do sell damaged things, whether I did it or with the way I found it, or, blah, 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 or if I found it that way. This is a Napco piece, and this was, I think, $3.40. So we will see what happens. I mean, this damage is... It's damaged, obviously, but it doesn't affect the leopard itself. So I think someone will still really like that. And I've seen these plaques. The tuna one didn't do too well, so that's why I put it in a sale. Um, I might list this one, maybe despite the damage, for maybe like $15, $16, and see if anybody takes an interest. 
because even though this is damaged up here, it's still you can still see it, and you could probably touch it up too if you wanted. So next to the Blanco candlestick holders, this was my most expensive item at Finders Keepers. I did pay $18.90 for this really awesome piece. I believe it is a handmade item. I think it was supposed to either be a bank or a planter because there is a hole on the bottom. There is a mark, which I think this was like one of those like homemade ceramic kind of things. I can't make out what this says. Something Ed. Uh, 1952, and it says... Burbank, California. So that's probably when the mold was made. And then we have a name of Lucille Burton on it in uh, 57. So she painted this in 1957. I love the blue with the spackle of gold. And then we've got kind of like this pin -y looking girl on here. Kind of busty and she's got that really thin curvaceous figure. No cracks, no chips. I will definitely be keeping this for myself. But I am... Um, I know it seems like there was a lot, or that what I paid for all this stuff was a lot. I did buy a Lolita beer glass that was in the original box that has some really significant value on Amazon. So I'm not sharing that because that's not vintage, but it's going to definitely help me make a profit on the stuff that I bought at Finders Keepers. I've never seen this before. I just, I really like it. It's different. It's something I've, that I've never seen personally. And I just think it would look great in mid-century stuff. So that is everything that I got at Finders Keepers. Let's go ahead and check out the stuff I got at the thrift store. Okay, so everything that I got at the thrift store that I don't really go to, I spent $13 and I got four things. So I am definitely going to be able to make some pretty decent money. I probably should start going here a little bit more often because you just never know. But the last few times that I've been there, I've walked out with absolutely nothing. So I, I kind of take that as, you know, maybe I should not come here as much. But, you know, sometimes you just never know. That's the beauty of thrifting is you just do not know what is going to be there. But, yeah, I mean, this time I walked out with some pretty decent profits. So... This is really cool. These are the New York Times Crossword Companion. Um, it looks like they're on a roll. And this is from the uh, mid-90s. And I did look this up in store. Paid $4 for it, by the way. And somebody has one of these in FBA for about $49.90. Now, I usually like to price a little bit lower if I am the second person to send this in sir for pride members to buy so i will probably price it maybe like at 44.99 or maybe even 40 dollars. but i have to consider the fee which is 11.65 i think i might do 45 dollars and then take off the uh when they take the 11.65 off i'll still net some pretty decent money so that was a really really good pickup for four bucks paid three dollars for this 1990s Barney the Dinosaur Wilton Cake Pan. I have done really well with vintage cake pans that they have their original paper insert. The only problem with these is they do tend to scratch. And you have to watch out for dents and dings on them. And bends in the metal. But they still do really well. I would usually list these as used like new just because sometimes they do have cosmetic defects. But... These can do really well depending on who it is. So if you happen to see these and they have the original paper insert on them, look them up because some of them do have a really good value. Up until I went to this thrift store about a little over a week ago, I hadn't been there in months and months. And I think I remember seeing this there like the last time I was there, which was quite a while ago. This is a Napco turkey planter, probably from the 1960s, judging by that foil sticker on the bottom there. And I paid two bucks for it, so I will definitely be selling that around fall time. I am trying to look for seasonal items when I go out to the flea markets and the thrift stores and the antique stores, if I can get it cheap enough, because I know that people love to decorate for the holidays and vintage is usually better. Not to say that the modern things we get nowadays are bad, but I like that you can kind of mix it, and that's what I like to do. Like, I have some more modern things, and I mix it with my vintage, because a lot of the modern things that we see now weren't made back then, 
So it, it's fun to kind of mix and match it and make it look cool. So yeah, pick that up for two bucks. And the last item we're going to be looking at in this haul is this really nice frosted clear glass butterfly. I did pay $4 for it. I'm not sure that the thrift store knew that this was a Fenton piece because there's the Fenton mark right there. But I will definitely be saving this for next spring. It is a really nice piece, nice pressed glass, really nice quality, no cracks, no chips, very intricate and detailed. And I felt that $4 was a steal of a deal. Now, if this had been like that blue, I probably would have kept it for myself, but I will definitely be saving this for next spring. So that is everything that I would like to share with you all today. Let me know in the comments section below what was your favorite item or favorite items I shared in this haul. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram. The link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.